What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jamar Dawson, aka Arios, my dubstep name. I hope y'all are just doing good. I hope y'all are having a great day, Sunday, whatever day you're watching this. Um, I figured, like, man, I need to make some more freaking dubstep tutorials types, videography, documentary type things, or whatever. Um, but this beat, man, was real simple to do, um, and it's really just like a foundational beat. If you guys just want to make dubstep, whether you're you know, kind of a veteran producer, or you're just getting into producing um, music in general. They're just really basic things that you want to follow, like uh, formatting, uh, ways to use chord progressions, things like that. And then from there on, you can kind of build your own style. And everything I do, even basic stuff, um, I have my own style embedded. So I was like, oh, man, that's, a, that's an Ariel speed. That's a Jamar Dawson beat, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the key is, if you want to stand out instead of being just another Skrillex wannabe or, um, you know, Run Riot wannabe or some of these other famous guys. You don't want to be biting over their style. You want to take what they have and run in a different direction that's, that's dope and tight. So, uh, I'm just going to, you know, put a few foundational things uh, on video, whatever, that I do when I make my beats. And hopefully you guys can get something from it. Hope you enjoy it. It's a banger. And once it's finally done, once I get my girl to sing on it, oh man, it's over. Alright y'all, here it goes. Let's get it. Fast forward and sped through some of the things I did, um, but I want to talk through those. Essentially, what I, I did first is lay the uh, really regular instruments, um, like the sense, can't piano, um, a little bit of the strings and stuff, which I don't do strings all the time. Normal people don't when they're making dubstep or keys, but you know, it's just a toss up. Um, but you know, the regular instruments that are going to be static, um, I've kind of already laid and um, I, I recorded those just then on video. Now, the extra elements are what I would call the dubstep elements, like the basses that are dynamic, for example. Let's let's pull up one of these. Like, um, I like to use Thor. That's kind of one of the baseline ones that I use. But um, uh, Subtractor also has some good stuff too when you pair it with Scream. So that's what I highly suggest, pairing stuff with these extra modules. So you're like right here I have the, the regular Subtractor uh, and by itself, it sounds just like this, which is cool. But when you add a unison, and then you add a fold back distortion, and then a scream, that's when you get that real unique dubstep type feel that you're. That it just feels authentic, like you made it, not just reason made it. So this is what one of my transitions sounds like. I had that, or not transitions, but just sounds. I had that, and I also added this store. I didn't add anything to this one. Um, it's just a beneath the remains bass, and you can. It's kind of like a building bass, but it's like a pull out. And if you mess with you, you it has a little bit of wobble characteristics to it using 
modulation of the mod wheel. So here's what that part sounds like. <laughs> To the drop so I wanted to show you guys that and just a few more of the things that I added so for the actual drop um, what I did was I took a Thor I used squeaky and fatty I think I might have uh, changed the wobble amounts and FM amount uh, added a scream and then kind of like customized the scream but now it's it used to sound like this but now it sounds like this once again making it a little bit more heavy uh, and angry, so it's gonna sound like this in the song. And then I made, um, I have a, a couple, excuse me for that, I have a couple more things. I, ha I have a um, sample that I added just to kind of speed up the process. But here's what the basic breakdown sounds like as of right now. And so you got that, and I'm gonna loop that just for eight bars or whatever. Um, I got a couple other things I'm going to add a little bit later. But you guys get the point. You put the drums down, uh, and you can do it in whatever order you want, but you can put the drums down, you can put the, then the bass line, if there's a bass line. Some people don't use bass for dubstep. They just use the, the bassy, more like the bass cleft side of the scale, or they're just going to use sounds um, like the wobbles and screams and all that that be comprised of their lows. Uh, it just depends on what works for you. You want to lay some mids, which I kind of use as strings in this one, some highs, which I use as keys in this one, uh, and that's really it. And you just have a little fillers in, a little intro, some woo, some bringing it back, pushing it forward, pushing it around, playing around with the listener's ears is what you're going to be primarily doing. And um, you want to have, you know, being unique is the key. Having something that sounds familiar, like that da 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 that is very familiar sound, like the very repetitive staccato-ish notes, but at the same time, it's a little different, especially merging it with different types of sounds. So, you know, God bless y'all on this Sunday. Hope y'all got y'all butts in church or something, praising the Lord. I'm just glad, man. I know I'd be down there in jail without him. So I like to talk about him, man. He's a, he's a beast. He's saved me from doing some crazy stuff, like killing myself and killing other people. So, um, but yeah, dude, big honor to him. Big honor to y'all and subscribers. Um, and everybody who just watched the video supporting um, Arios is my dubstep name. Just check me out, man, on SoundCloud and stuff. Check the links below. And um, thank you so much for uh, watching this tutorial. Ooh, watching this tutorial. And I'm going to start posting more. Watch out for my girl Bailey Flores, too. She's a beast on vocals. And I'm going to turn her into like an Ellie Golding type. Latin Ellie Golding. But uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Thank you for watching. God bless y'all. Until next time. Peace.